fans may not be packed in the stands right now, but extra eyes are watching high school athletes during this pandemic. Carrie Miller got a hold of the report in this update to our series Athletes at Risk. Everyone involved must be accountable. Uh, in addition to the health department, the Ohio High School Athletic Association will hold schools, athletes and parents accountable. Earlier this week, we told you about COVID observers hired by the OHSAA to make sure athletics are complying during the pandemic. Since that report, Local 12 investigates learned of a memo sent to member schools last week addressing concerns of schools failing to comply. In the memo, OHSAA Commissioner Doug Ute wrote, There are troubling signs in these weekly reports that need definite improvement. However, if improvements are not made, we may not be able to continue with our seasons because the coronavirus is going to spread due to our administrators, coaches, and student athletes not following the mandates required by the governor. That memo shows at the start of October, observers went to 83 games. 80 home and away teams failed to maintain six feet of social distancing at all times, other than those playing, while just 86 teams passed. And 61 home and away teams failed to wear facial coverings under the Department of Health's orders. We asked you about schools failing parts of the mandate. We're not getting into a, you failed, you're not playing type of thing. It's just keep those masks on the, the kids and, and keep them socially distanced as much as possible. So we asked the governor how schools should be held accountable. The tools that they promised they would use were things like disqualifications, forfeitures, uh, suspension of seasons. Uh, and particularly now that, that uh, many of these events are into playoff season, uh, I would hope uh, and look, we, we want them to have fun. We want them to have the games, but we, we have to make sure that the rules are being followed. Those changes may not come from OHSAA. The association told us no school has forfeited a game. Athletic directors tell Local 12 Investigates there hasn't been a single consequence statewide for noncompliance. It's our job and our organization to make sure our member schools do that. And we're not to the point yet where we've had people uh, at you know, you can't host or something along those lines. Gary Miller, Local 12 News. Lieutenant Governor John Houston did say that he would follow up with the OHSAA. To learn more about the risk athletes face playing in a pandemic, head to athletesatrisk.com.